you have to find out bc there first bc means small a is to be find out nothing but small a so let us write the data given so that we will get an idea here angle a 2 pi by 3 and b minus c 3 root 3 delta 9 root 3 by 2 cm square now two sides are given delta is given difference of two sides given okay now bolo beta uh humko r ka value mil jayega Hmm. In terms of a, matlab, and then we can use that formula A B C upon four R for area of triangle. Okay. उससे B N C इसका value मिल जाएगा, फिर तो A का भी मिल जाएगा. Let me try in that way. Pass. Uh, you proceed with your idea. I'm I'm thinking differently. Just moment. Uh, I'm writing this delta because I know angle A here. I'm proceeding like this. uh half bc sin a sin a is given to be 2 pi by 3 is equal to 9 root 3 by 2 so you'll get bc What is BC here? Sine two pi by three is root three by two, getting cancelled. I think BC is eighteen, isn't it? Let's check it out, boys and girls. BC is eighteen here. Two two getting cancelled. Root three, but yes. B minus C we know. BC we know. now what i'm doing what i'm doing i'm trying to find out b plus c so b plus c whole square is equal to b minus c whole square plus 4 bc हाँ बेटा दिस इज नाइन इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस फोर इंटू एटीन विच इज वे गॉड इट या बी सी और देर और देर प्लीज वेद पास जहान धनंजय धनंजय क्लास में आया और आराम से सो रहा है धनंजय बाबू और बीसी थर्टी सिक्स है क्या थर्टी सिक्स है बेटा हाँ मैंने अलग इससे किया तो थर्टी सिक्स आया और इधर मेरा मेरा कुछ सिंपलीफिकेशन का कुछ गलती है क्या होता है देखो एक बार जो मैं साइन के टू पाइ बाइ थ्री आएगा ना क्या बेटा स्क्वायर आएगा ना साइन स्क्वायर क्यों फॉर्मूला में डेल्टा का फॉर्मूला बता अच्छा डेल्टा का फॉर्मूला है बस हाफ बी से साइन है ना वो हाँ सो व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इट इज़ सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी नाइन Eighty-nine, ninety-nine. We got uh, B plus C to be ninety-nine. Correct or not? 
Respond, respond, please, respond. Yes, sir. Now. Squaring, uh, now we know angle A, we need a small a. So you have to get the idea like this, please. All of you, please pay your attention. When solving these problems, the headache is because of many formulae present in properties of triangle. Which formula is to be applied and where is it to be applied is a big task here. So you must be very sharp in applying the formula. What I'm thinking here, I need a small a there. I need small a. So for small a, how I am planning? Uh, this is A we need. If I have the opposite angle A, it is very much there. Just see that. It is very much there. And if I have the adjacent sides of uh, the angle A, C and B, I can get it. So, I have the relation, which formula to be used in this case now? Anyone? Respond, respond. Respond, please. Uh, a is equal to. A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos A. That's what, Parsh, what you're saying is correct? Yes, sir. Now, according to this, I have angle A, no doubt. I have BC also, but I need only B square plus C square. That's it. I need only B square plus C square. So let me do it. Anyone do you help me out in writing B square plus C square? How to? B plus C the whole square to expand or or substitute. Karo. Correct, correct. You're right. So that is equal to squaring and subtracting also you'll get I think. B plus C whole square, eh? B minus C whole square. By two. So you can square it and you can get B square plus C square directly from this. I did this extra because BC is there. Because BC is there, you don't need to. I not You'll get it here itself. Do you understand what I'm saying? B square plus C square minus 2bc is equal to 9 into 3 27 plus 2 into 18 this is what i'm talking about because 18 is already there bc is already there so how much is it 36 36 plus 7 43 63 is b square plus c square i'm writing that directly we don't need to have this I thought in a different way. Even if you don't have this also, you can do it here itself. So B square plus C square is, uh, how much is it? Anyone? 63. B square plus C square, uh, we don't need half also. Sixty-three minus twice of eighty into cos two pi by three, please. Cos two pi by three. Sixty-three minus twice of eighteen into cos two pi by three. Cos uh, sixty 
माइनस वन बाई टू कॉस वन ट्वेंटी कॉस वन ट्वेंटी माइनस वन बाई टू एट नाइन implies a square is equal to 63 my plus 18 is how much 99 ah how much is it 81 63 plus 18 yeah 18 81 <coughs> therefore your a is 9 See the number of twists happen in solving the problem. I don't say this is only the method, but you can try in different ways. As Ved was saying, he got some different answer for BC. Maybe might have taken wrong there in simplification, but you must try like that with different methods and different formulae. Even if you go wrong, also. I repeat, even if you go wrong, also no issues at all, because first of all, you formulate, you will be getting remembering when you are applying, <coughs> and your logical thinking, reasoning will be improved. So that is the beauty of mathematics. If you solve a particular problem, if you go wrong twice, thrice, four times, five times, that is very great. Because your brain will think in different ways, thereby it will thereby it will be sharpened. That is the beauty of mathematics. Okay, so your A is nine here. Let us have a fast relook at it. Angle A given, B minus C given, delta given. First of all, I use delta half B C sin A formula because angle A is given. I got the idea of using half B C sin A because I know angle A. I am given B C here, so B minus C here. So that's the reason why I want to get B C here. So half B C sin A I used. I got B C value eighteen. After getting B C here, I I square this B minus C. B square plus C square minus 2BC because I know BC. I substituted. I got the value of B square plus C square. After knowing B square plus C square, BC and angle A, I got the idea of applying the cosine rule because I need small a here. The question is containing small a. Small a is uh, nothing but uh, <coughs> uh, small a is nothing but the uh, side which is opposite to angle A because angle A is given. And angle A and the included side circuit. Remember always the data according to the data given which formula to be applied. You have to understand. So when two sides and included angle is given, apply the cosine rule. The cosine rule is a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2b c cos a. I substituted the data I have and I got a is equal to nine. That's it. This is a theoretical problem. Yeah, in triangle ABC, D is the midpoint of BC. If AD is perpendicular to the construction-based problem, AD is perpendicular to AC, then cos A into cos. Sorry, sir, we can't take triangle and make it three, four, five. Three, four, five. You can verify. Cannot be done like that, Parsh, because he is saying AD is perpendicular to AC. But you are making the triangle right angle means another another right angle cannot be formed here. It it is an obtuse angle triangle. Just let me show you the construction. <laughs> let me show you the construction. Triangle can never bend. Yeah, brother. Triangle, right angle triangle, sadhi ani. Ah, that is the reason why you cannot verify it. Let me let me show you that. One moment. 
Uh, D is perpendicular to AC, he is saying, let me take the base as AC. Let me take the base as AC. And D is its midpoint as given. So let me mark D here. Okay, now. Uh, uh, D is the midpoint of BC. Yeah, you're right, Vita. You're right. BC. Now, what is that he's saying? AD is perpendicular to AC, he's saying. AD is perpendicular to AC, he's saying. Let me say AD like this. And this is AC. Still. Still. Now, this is done. What he's saying is this is 90 degrees past. Yes, this is the problem. For cross verification, you cannot go in this case. Cross verification can be taken for a general triangle. General triangle means whatever the property is there, it should be true for all the triangles and hence you can make use of it if it is any general property, but uh, you cannot make use of the cross verification for a specific triangle. What I mean to say by specific, for example, in this case, what is a specific triangle here? It should be an acute angle triangle because uh, angle A is greater than 90 here. You can just verify. Yes, sir. So that is a problem. Let me say because D is the midpoint, let me say this as A by 2. This is also A by 2. This is small b. This is C. So now that is the data given. According to that, what he is asking is, he is asking for cos A into cos C. Now, uh, in triangle, ACD or ADC because I need cos C here. I am writing cos C because it is a right angle triangle, it is comfortable for us. This is a hypotenuse. A by 2 is a hypotenuse. B is the adjacent side. B divided by A by 2. Which implies that your cos C is 2B by A. We got it. Cos C. Now, what we need is cos A into cos C. Let me have a relation between a b c because uh, in, in the options if you observe you know there is no b present in the options there is no b present please so let us have a relation between a b c such that b can be eliminated b can be eliminated I need a relation for B, A and C. So what I'm doing, I'm just applying cos C formula directly. Anyone please tell me what is cos C? B square plus C square. C square plus B square minus C square upon 2A. 2A. Is equal to Two B by A. Now what are the terms getting cancelled here? A getting cancelled. 
cross multiply what is the relation you get let me write that directly because it is 4b square minus b square so you will get a square minus c square is equal to 3b square every one of you just observe wait Yes. We got this relation between A, B, and C. Now, what we need is, according to the question, we need cos A into cos C, please. We need cos A into cos C. <coughs> Therefore, cos A into cos C. Cos A again formula. B square. B square minus C square upon 2 BC. Ah, divided by 2 BC. Cos C, please, cos C. 2B by A. Now, do you tell me? What is the term getting cancelled here? 2B, 2B getting cancelled. Correct now? Now, uh, in the options, if you observe carefully, there is no B term here. There is no B term. So, let us remove B term. Anyone do help me out in writing B square there? A minus C square, A square minus C square by 3. So, A square minus C square divided by 3 plus C square minus A square whole divided by 3. AC. Now, if you take LCM, you know. This is 3c square minus c square, 2c square. Uh, a square minus 3a square minus 2a square. So twice of c square minus a square whole divided by 3ac. आ गया धनंजय फिर से नींद से उठ के नींद से उठ के आ गया फिर से धनंजय बाबू वेलकम टू द क्लास धनंजय बाबू सो दिस इज ट्वाइस ऑफ c स्क्वायर माइनस a स्क्वायर बाय 3 ऐसे दैट्स इट प्लीज प्लीज दिस इज नॉट दैट इजी बिकॉज़ आई हैव बीन टीचिंग फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स I am able to get the ideas in a in a proper way, but what I suggest you, even if you are going wrong, also do not stop solving the problem. First of all, do not stop solving the problem. That's very important. Okay. So if you see that, all of you, if you see that, this is, I'm, I'm just, Parsh said in the beginning that uh, I'll make it for a right angle triangle, yes, getting that idea is also good, but the problem is, but the problem is, you can go for cross verification whenever a general problem is given. 
what I mean to say by general problem, if a specific triangle is given, it is ruled out. It is ruled out to uh, go for a cross verification. Then the problem is to be solved at any cost. The problem is to be solved at any cost. So uh, the construction is also important here. Whenever this is given to be 90 degrees, I got the idea of getting cos C here because cos C is needed here. Cos C is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse. I wrote cos C here. But in the options, if you see carefully, there is no relation, there is no term B involved in the options. So what I'm thinking, I'm trying to make a relation between A, B, C, and hence I applied cos C formula, the A square plus B square minus C square by 2AB is equal to 2B by A, A getting cancelled, you've got A square minus C square is equal to 3B square. So I got uh, a relation between uh, A, B and C. So keep it like this. Now what we need is cos A into cos C. Cos A formula, I straight away applied the formula B square plus C square minus A square by 2B C and cos C we know 2B by A. And after simplification and replacing B square using this A square minus C square by 3. We got the answer. That's it please. This one please. One or more correct. In a triangle, ABC, in a triangle ABC, 2A square B square plus 2B square C square is equal to A power 4 plus B power 4 plus C power. Then angle B is. Okay. Shade out, please. What I'm trying to do, uh, because we need angle B here. Angle B, cosine formula, let us write and get the idea first. Cos B formula. Priyanchi, welcome to the class. Whole divided by cos B is equal to C square plus A square minus B square by 2 C. So what I'm trying to do, I want to get this to this form. I want to get that relation given to this form. That should be your basic idea first before solving the problem. So what I'm trying to do here, I will be taking this a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 is equal to 2a square b square plus 2b square c square. Now, I want to make it a perfect square because power 4 is there. What I'm trying to write here, according to cos b there, I'm trying to write this as c square plus a square minus b square because I need cos b. Whole square. Let me check whether it is it suits the given relation or not. I think one more term is missing there. I am getting that RHS to LHS and for to make it a perfect square. Now check it out. C power 4 no problem, A power 4 no problem, B power 4 no problem. That is A plus B plus C whole square I am talking about. A square plus B square plus C square it's okay. A square C square correct. Uh, plus 2 C square A square minus 2 A square B square is there. Minus 2 B square C square is there. What is that remaining? Minus 2 C square A square extra. Okay. So what happens? Now, this will be 
this will be written like this c square plus a square minus b square whole square is equal to uh, 2 c a whole square by 2 why i'm writing like that you know i have shown it in the yellow color the formula i have shown it in the yellow color the formula i want to get that form so what happens here this becomes c square plus a square minus b square whole divided by five uh, it is more than one correct aspect 2CA whole square is equal to 1 by 2. Pratmesh? 1.35 ah. This becomes plus or minus 1 by root 2, please. As Pratmesh is saying, is 45. You should not miss yeah, that yeah, minus uh, A and B. Oh. 45 and 35. Oh. Cos pi by 4 or cos pi minus pi by 4. 3 pi by 4. Okay. So, the angle B is 45 degrees or 135. One is 45, other one is 135. That's it. See, the idea of getting the perfect square from the given x equation, that the given equation is converted as for our convenience. And the idea you must get from the given question itself, you need angle B. So for angle B, we know cos B. We use the cos B. And uh, using that cos B, this one, using that cos B, this one, is modified. Modified. And uh, we got the final answer. And don't miss that plus or minus there. Okay. Next one. It's also more than one correct terms uh, question started now. This is in a, a circle of radius 4 centimeters inscribed in a triangle ABC uh, which touches the side BC at D. If BD is equal to 6 centimeters, DC is equal to 8 centimeters. Let us try the uh, construction, that is, reverse construction. What I mean to say by reverse construction, the circle is to be drawn later, but I'm drawing it in the beginning because we may not be getting the perfect diagram. These are the two tangents drawn from an external point. Two, yes, sir. These are the two tangents drawn from an external point. Two, yes, sir. Seeing this in another way. But because it is uh, a triangle, properties of triangles, in circle is drawn by taking in circle is drawn by taking the in center in center is 
the point of concurrence of internal angular bisector. In center is the point of concurrence of internal angular bisectors. What is an internal angular bisector? It is the line which bisects the internal angle of the triangle. Now, here DC is given to be 8 centimeters. Let me mark them. DC is given to be 8 centimeters. And uh, BD is given to be 6 centimeters. So, BD. I am marking this as BD. This is B please. This is D. And this is uh, C. Let me say. According to the construction. This is angle A. 8 centimeters. What is AC को जो circle touch करता है ना, वो point से लेके C तक वो भी eight centimeters रहेगा। And uh, the radius, in circle radius is also given to be four centimeters. So what I'm doing, I'm just marking this also. Uh, this is given to be four centimeters. This is nothing but in radius. In radius, in radius is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the side. In radius is the perpendicular distance from the in center to the side, to any side, to any side. This is nothing but in center. This is I. And uh, you must know this is B by D. Sir, area to fir mil gaya na 84. Huh. Ki 3 into this area. You are right. Half you are into no. 4 into 14. Can we say that? I don't think. They are they're not equal, beta. They are not equal. In case of centroid, they are equal, but it is in center. So let us write now uh, in triangle IDB, ID is very much given. It is uh, the in radius is nothing but 4 centimeters. R, this is R, smaller, it is given to be 4. Now I know opposite side and adjacent side to B by 2. And don't forget, this is 90 degrees. This is 90. Now let us write it. Tan B by 2, please. Anyone? What is tan B by 2? R by, R by uh, 2 by 3. And what is tan C by 2? Half. 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 Mm, he needs tan A by 2 here. So, when you know it is a triangle, A plus B plus C is equal to pi implies, you will get it in compound angles in fact, divide through it with 2 and apply tan on both sides, you will get sigma tan A by 2 tan B by 2 is equal to 1.
I will explain. Follow this carefully, beta. All of you. All of you. Follow this carefully. I repeat. Just say this. A plus B is equal to 180 minus C. Divide with 2. Why should we? Because we need B by 2, C by 2 relation here. So A by 2 plus B by 2 is equal to 90 minus C by 2. Apply tan on both sides. Tan of A by 2 plus B by 2 is equal to tan 90 minus C by 2. The tan 90 minus B by 2 in RHS becomes cot C by 2. And tan of A by 2 plus B by 2 expand the formula tan of A plus B. Tan A by 2 plus tan B by 2 divided by 1 minus tan A by 2 tan B by 2 is equal to cot C by 2. Cot C by 2 is 1 by tan C by 2. If you cross multiply, then you will get this. I hope you understand that. Parsh. Yes, sir. Pratamesh. Vedant. Ved. Jahan. Saranjay. Welcome to the class, Bida. So let us substitute this tan B by 2 tan Z by in this one to get tan A by 2. Okay, so what should it be now? Hmm. Therefore, Tan A by 2, give it as it is. Tan B by 2, 2 by 3. Tan C by 2, 1 by 2. That means what I wrote now. Tan A by 2, tan B by 2, I wrote. Plus tan A by 2, tan C by 2, I wrote. Then what is that remaining? Tan A by 2, uh, tan B by 2, tan C by 2. Yes, sir. 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1. Can you tell me, please, now? Anyone, please help me out. Tan A by 2 is also 2 by 3. Tan A by 2 is equal to 2 by 7. It's an isosceles triangle. Oh, so you got two options at a time by simplifying this. This is 4 by 7 is correct. And also, all are less than 1 only. Tan A by 2 less than 1, tan B by 2 less than 1, tan C by 2 less than 1. And hence, it should be necessarily an acute angle triangle. It should necessarily be an acute angle triangle. Next one, please. So two options are correct. Perimeter we need two s we need two s. What we know is uh, tan a by two, tan b by two, tan c by two. We know smaller also we know. Delta by s you can make use of. Delta by s r is there r. R is equal to, you have a formula, I think, S tan A by 2. R is equal to S tan A by 2. 4 is equal to, uh, S tan A by 2. Yes, we don't know. Mm, yes, we need, no? Okay. Let me use this formula just a moment. R is equal to S tan A by 2. What is R? 4. I doubt, uh, even I don't, I too don't remember this formula. Let me try, but. CP correct. Kya uh, Yes, into tan A by 2 value is 4 by 7. So your 2s is equal to 14, huh? no, so this formula is wrong then. Mm -hmm. 
4 for getting as s is equal to 7 means 14 you are getting but uh, 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 Pratimesh, kuch bol rahe bolo uh, sir, jaape uh, uh, circle c ko touch karta hai na usse p le lo to p c is equal to c b ho jayega and uh, a p ko jaape touch karta hai usse q le lo to q b is equal to q d ho jayega फिर अभी tan a by two four by seven आया ना इससे a p seven आ जाता है तो a p is equals to a q तो वो भी seven परिमिट परिमिट है forty two आ जाता है half into base into height we can apply for this half into base into height तो सर area भी मिल जाएगा ना फिर ऐसे से ले जाते हो it will divide into three equal areas थ्री इक्वल एरियाज नहीं होगा बेटा ये देखो इधर छोटा लग रहा है ना इधर एरिया सुन लो तो ये इक्वल डायग्राम तो रैंडम बना है ना पर अभी मालूम पड़ रहा है कि 7 7 सेंटीमीटर्स ये 8 सेंटीमीटर्स हां इधर तक ठीक है सॉरी यस वो नहीं होगा वो इफ इट इज एन इक्विलेटर ट्रायंगल इट हैपेंस ऑल द सेंटर्स विल कोइंसाइड हम्म R is equal to delta by s delta delta I got yeah delta hmm tan a by two four by seven tan a by two any formula for tan a by two please tan a by two अरे जो आपने बोल रहा है ये इधर ये points को ना you want me to Name these points, Pratimesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Then. फिर हमें length मिल जाएगा ना four और तो seven हो जाएगा. अगर वो E पे intersect कर रहा है A B को. हम्म. फिर tangent from exterior points are equal. तो इससे कोई सब equal हो जाएगा. ना आया क्या आपको answer आया क्या? Yes, sir. Perimeter forty two आता है. This is okay, okay, okay. This is six. This is seven. This is eight, no? Eight. 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 Hmm. E F seven. E F E E will be seven. Okay, sir. Four by seven. Two four by seven. क्या बेटा? तो perpendicular four ही दिया हमने आपके दांत को. Constant is one only. एक मिनट दिस इज आई डी अगेन फोर दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट एंगल सर वो लेंथ फोर है एंड टेन ए बाई टू इज ऑल्सो फोर तो सेवन ही बचता है ए ई के लिए और ए एफ के लिए भी राइट राइट So this is a by two. You mean to say? Yes. Yes. ये तो four दिया है. And tan a by two we know. Very good. Implies tan a by two is nothing but four by a. वो ही है ना? Four by a. Is equal to four by seven. Good. A E is equal to seven. See, I was trying to recollect that formula. If I sir, अब areas भी मिली जाएंगे. हाँ. Total length side मालूम है. हाँ. Three triangle का करना पड़ेगा अलग अलग आर. ठीक है. मैं क्या बोल रहा हूँ? I want to recollect that formula. If I if I write that formula correctly, then I'll get the answer directly without doing all this. But I really I don't I I I'm not perfectly remembering that formula. Like uh, R is equal to something like s minus c into tan uh, c by two or something. One formula is that. Okay, but I did not give preference to that. That is why even it is. Skip it out from my mind. So a is equal to seven, and uh, you can write the perimeter now. Therefore, perimeter 
2s is equal to a plus b plus perimeter 8 plus 6 40 yeah, yeah. 14 plus 8 plus 7 15 7 plus 6 30 it is 42 So your C is also correct and uh, tell me whether D is correct or not. Sir, sir D correct. Correct, correct, sir. Uh, delta is equal to RS direct formula. Okay. 84, yeah. Delta is equal to RS is equal to 4 into 21 square meters square centimeters so all are correct please all are correct a b c d that's it so see the construction there and a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 given and from that one we got tan b by 2 tan c by 2 he needs tan a by 2 so for that one you need the compound angles relation a standard result a plus b plus c 180 then sigma tan a by 2 tan b by 2 is equal to 1 here only the entire problem lies and from this one uh, by expanding this by no by substituting these values which are known to us we got tan a by 2 as 4 by 7 it, it can be clearly observed that it is less than 1 and even tan b by 2 tan c by 2 also less than 1 and hence it, it should be definitely a acute angle triangle. So after this tan a by 2 construction extended here and tan a by 2 we have got to be uh, 4 by a e thereby a e is equal to 7 and thereby we can write the perimeter. When you get the perimeter you know s then then delta is r s then uh, we have got area of the triangle to be 84 square centimeters. That's what it is. Now, this is also a conceptual problem. It's not a big problem to be solved, but only the technique lying in this. With all the ranges and domains of the trigonometric functions, cos A cos B plus sin A sin B into sin cube C is equal to 1. Madam Garu, Mamma Machipo and Cause A, Cause B, plus sign A, sign B. Sine cube C is equal to 1. Show it up. Is it possible to get 1 directly like that? If you Simplify this. Sine cube C your sine cube C is equal to 1 minus cos A cos B whole divided by Sine A sine B. Whatever it is, because sine QC maximum value is 1, it should be less than or equal to 1. So what happens? Cos A minus B is greater than or equal to 1. Huh. 1 minus cos A cos B 
is less than or equal to sin A sin B implies 1 is less than or equal to cos of A minus B. But only cos A minus B will never be greater than B. It will be equal to 1. Since cos is always less than or equal to 1. A equal to B. So you got a relation there now? Isosceles. 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 Therefore, A is equal to B. One option we have got. Sin, sin cube CB 1 ho jaega. It will be, it right, will be right, right angle. Right. Agar right. substitute right. kar diya to. Right. A equals B. Correct. 1 minus, minus cos square, square upon sin square mila ga. Ah. And sin cube C is equal to correct beta. 1 ho jata hai. implies angle C is equal to 90 degrees. So you got it to be a right angle triangle also. Now similarly, uh, check for the remaining. Small r is to, capital R is to small r. When you know all the angles, you can do it easily. Because we know all the angles, just check it out. Small r, capital R by small r, we will write it in this way. Small, capital R divided by small r formula, 4r sin a by 2, sin b by 2, sin c by 2. Option C B Kar. Sin A by two means sin forty five by two. That is sin square forty five by two into sin ninety anyway becomes one. So this is uh, RR getting cancelled and uh, what is that you get uh, is uh, 1 upon sin um, 90 nahi hoga na end mein i2 i2 hoga na wo bhi ha ah, you're right beta 45 you're right So this is RR getting cancelled and uh, you tell me please whether the simplified part of it, uh, 2 sin square 45 by 2 is 1 minus cos 45, 1 minus 1 by root 2. Is it correct Ved? Sir, option C correct. Oh, you are asking, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. So, what is that you are getting? Uh, I think if you rationalize it, root 2 plus 1. 2 by root 2 minus 2. 2 by root 2 minus 1 is root 2 plus 1 by 1 we are getting here. Array, 
फिर देखो एक बार वन बाई रूट टू टू साइन स्क्न मोर टू डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला भी था अच्छा किसका आर बाय आर का वन प्लस स्मॉल आर बाय कैपिटल आर ओ आओ यूज किया क्या वेरी गुड बेटा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड मैंने बताया और मैं ही नहीं यूज किया उसका टू टू गेटिंग कैंसिल यू आर राइट सो आई मिस द टू देयर सो दैट्स करेक्ट सो इवन सी इज आल्सो करेक्ट व्हाट इज सेइंग डू यू रिमेंबर द फार्मूला प्लीज what the very say cos a plus cos b plus cos c is equal to 1 plus small r by capital r i gave that formula already similarly r1 is to r2 is to r3 also you can find out uh, uh because all the angles are known to us all the angles are known to us you can find out r1 r2 r3 in terms of capital r and you can check it out what is R one four R side A by two cos B by two cos C by two. R two four R cos A by two sine B by two cos C by two. R three four R cos A by two cos B by two sine C by two. You know all the angles. You can find it out. Check it, please. Check it. That's it. Now. Let's. I'm moving moving on to the next problem because uh, the D can be verified because everything you know, everything you know, you can verify that. That's it. Let us take a matrix matching here. Just say this. S minus a by eleven, S minus b by twelve, S minus c by thirteen is equal. Then thirty-three tan square a by two. Just now, I gave a technique in the ratios. Uh, if you add these three, no. I'm talking about option uh, first question A. If you add these three now, s plus s minus a plus s minus b plus s minus c. Three s minus of a plus b plus. Is equal to eleven plus twelve plus thirteen is twenty three thirty six. Your God yes to be thirty six. Pash. आपने two s बोल रहा था two s नहीं बेटा ये c है. In the previous question you said it has two s but it is s only. Now from this one I can write. Tan a by two formula, and even you can write delta also. Thanks a lot. Delta is equal to delta square. I'm writing s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Straight away you can make use of those values because it is a ratio. The ratio they are getting cancelled. That is why we are neglecting that proportionality constant there. Thirty-six into eleven into twelve into thirty. That is delta square. What we need is tan square a by two now. Tan square a by two s minus b s minus c by delta we can make use of. Are you there? Anyone in the class, please respond. 
Yes, sir. 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 Yes, You'll get 12 there. Uh, 12. Uh, and the three remaining here. That's all. I don't think nothing more than that you get, but uh, you're getting all. <clears throat> all this. Irrational, I think. Anyone please help me out here. Delta square I'm writing. Delta square is S into S minus 11 into S minus B12 into S minus 13. This is correct only. So, this is not tan square but this is tan A by 2 only. Okay. Now we have to write tan square A by 2 means uh, this is square. Otherwise, you can uh, straight away use this. Just a moment. Just a moment. You can make use of this because delta is there. I wrote that. Even if not, also you can do this. S into S minus A, please. The root will be eliminated because square is there. Come on, tell me S minus B. S minus C, 30, whole divided by, thirty six into S minus A, 11. Uh, do you tell me please the simplified form now? 13 by 33. So 33 cross multiplied with uh, 8 uh, uh, thirty-three times square a by two BD is equal to thirty-three into Thirty-six by into eleven. Uh, is there anything cancelled? Getting cancelled there? Fourteen. Fourteen. Three times. This is three times and this three goes for again 12 times and 12, 12 getting cancelled and 30. So the final result for this is 30. For A it is S. That's it for A. And for B please. For B, <clears throat> I think it's clear. You must get this idea whenever you are making use of this ratio here. Yes, yes. Take an idea, please. Next, B, please. Small a given, small b given, cos of a minus b given, then angle c is needed. Mm. Right. Angle c is c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c by cos c we need. Cos c we need from this. Cos c.
So let me write uh, uh, tan of a minus b by 2 from this, please. Let me write tan of a minus b by 2 from this. Tan of a minus b by 2 square I'm taking the trigonometry formula 1 minus cos of a minus b whole divided by 1 plus cos of a minus b. See the advanced level how those trigonometric formulae are frequently used. Yes, I understand that. Cos of a minus b 31 by 32, 1 minus 31 by 32 divided by 1 plus 31 by 32. Numerator is 1 by 32, denominator is 63 now. 32 plus 31, 63. So 1 upon 63 is tan square a minus b by 2. Correct or not? Now anyone do you tell me, anyone do you tell me tangent rule please, tangent rule, Napier's analogy also we call it as Napier's analogy also. Anyone? Tangent rule please. Pradmesh, Parsh, Dhananjay, Ved, Jahan. Divya, Vedant, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sakshi, tan of A minus B by 2, tangent rule, beta. A minus B by A plus B, cot C by 2. Are you doing all this or not? At least you tell me, beta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pradamesh? So A minus B means 5 minus 4. Either you have 5 and 4 there. 1 by 9 into cot C by 2 is equal to 1 by 63. So you have got cot C by 2 here to be uh, 1 by 7 up. What we need is capital C there, uh, small c there, side C. So we need uh, cos C from this one. Otherwise, we cannot find out this. So cos C, you can make use of. Uh, this is tan C by 2, you know. And uh, let, me, let me write uh, cos C now. Therefore, cos C is equal to 1 minus tan square C by 2 by 1 plus tan square C by 2. So, 1 minus 49 divided by 1 plus 49. Are you there, everyone? Everyone, please. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Now, from that one, what I'm doing, I'm getting cos C. See the depth of the minus formula. Minus 48 by 50. Uh, okay, minus, minus 48 by 50. Uh, see the depth of the formula used here. A square is equal to B square plus. Uh, no, we need C here. We need C here. Just more. No, even then, it is cyclic order only. C square is equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB cos. That's it. Which implies uh, A square please uh, 25 plus 16 minus 2 into 5 into 4, 40. This becomes plus then plus 40 into 48 by 50 means 24 by 25. Anyone do you tell me the final answer for this please see now. 2 into A into B. 20.
cos c1 minus tan specific. This is correct. Simplify that. Simplify that to get the final answer, but the fraction is not seen there. Something should have five means uh, you will get it. Uh, I think 41. 97 by 5. 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 क्या प्रदेश फिर से बोलो ये रूट लेना है रूट नहीं लिया वही गलती है करेक्ट यू हैव टू टेक द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ इट दिस इज द स्क्वायर रूट नाउ यू विल गेट इट सो व्हाट शुड इट बी देन uh you will get uh, 3 root 7 that you will get cot c by 2 is equal to 3 by root 7 correct again uh, yes sir 3 by root 7 means uh, this will be changing again uh, you will have 7 by 3 whole square then. 7 by 3 whole square means 49 by 9. Uh, 7 by 3, 49 by 9. The AB cancel ho jata hai. 1 minus 49 by 9 means uh, 9 minus 49. We have 9 plus 49. So oh, minus 40 by 58 you will get it now cos c ka value correct ek bar idhar theta aa gaya to pura theta ho jata hai 3 by root 7 means wo bhi pura change ho jayega na fir wo finally kya aayega beta 9 minus 7 I got uh, minus, uh, minus 7, seven. by 9 it plus 7. Has, it has 2 by 16 I got 1 by 8 I got. Correct and I Yes. Yes. So 41 plus 5. Six not I see. Kevada? Kid I answer? Six 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 six. You have minus there. So that's right. You will see six. Please take a screenshot of it and try this C and D problems. Take the screenshot, all of you. Let me show you some more problems. Take the screenshot and work out. Uh, take this one, please. This you can do easily. Did it? Respond, respond, so that I can move to the next question. Yes, and this one also. You can do this also very easily. Next one, passage. This is depending on uh, tangent rule. 
and sign rule. It's a mixture of whatever the problems we did. It's a passage. You can do that. The options are clearly given there. Key is also given. Integer type. Please make a note of it. Or take the screen chart, please. This one also. Yes, this one. Answer. That's it. So you work out those problems. So that finishes properties of triangles. And last uh, one. Last 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, now uh, it's got be option side. Check it. It's got be the option side. You try it. It's easy. You can do that. Okay. So that finishes the properties of triangles. And uh, Maybe we have the last session. Uh, the geometry, geometry part remaining hyperbola and ellipse. We will finish that in one more session so that uh, the entire syllabus will be finished. Okay. So complex, so complex numbers. numbers. No, let's talk about वो करेंगे हम वो कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स आपका मेन लेवल पे हो गया ना हां हां ठीक है एडवांस का कर कर सकते हैं कुछ प्रॉब्लम है एडवांस का टाइम है ना कुछ प्रॉब्लम है ठीक है बेटा सी यू ऑल थैंक यू सर नेक्स्ट सेशन बाय बाय हैव अ गुड डे थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर